Question, is it too late to get sexy summer arms? No, you just need to commit to the process. Question, can I get those sexy summer arms in less than two weeks because I've got a, I've got a thing coming up and I just kinda need that look already. No, that's stupid. Building muscle takes time and concentrated effort. Give yourself time. Question, if I start today, will I see a noticeable improvement by July? No question, you'll see a difference. If you can start now and practice a clean eating nutrition concept and also lift consistently, you're gonna see big improvements by the time July hits. Question, should we get started then? Yep, let's move daily. Good morning everyone, it's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness and you heard what we're doing today, it is all arms, all right? So, here is the format we have planned for today. Basically, I'm gonna have you do 45 seconds worth of an exercise, so we're doing high rep range, all right? A lot of time under tension with the 45 seconds because basically you can get up to 20 reps in that amount of time, so a lot of time under tension on those muscles gonna help sculpt them into some sexy shoulders, biceps, triceps, and everything in between. <laughs> What's in between? Bones and tissue. That doesn't make sense. Okay, you get the point. We're doing arms, we're gonna sculpt them, that's the point. All right, so biceps, triceps, shoulders, and we're gonna do it. So make sure you grab your dumbbells. You'll need a variety of dumbbells for this workout today. And then also join me for this warm up. We're gonna just get our, our shoulders all warmed up and ready to go, so it's just gonna be a few minutes right at the beginning here. Okay, if you're new here, welcome. I'm, I see there's a lot of new subscribers who have just joined us, so I do welcome you, and hope that you will join our community in the comment section below. So if you have anything that you wanna say about the type of workouts that you like to see more of, um, what exercises you loved, hated, any, any of those things, you can feel free to comment below, all right? Also, while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell so that uh, you can get these workouts into your inbox every Wednesday and Saturday. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Let's warm up. Okay, go ahead and grab some light dumbbells, threes, fives, twos, whatever you have there. We're just gonna start with some simple arm rotations. All right, so knees are soft and nice and slowly. Of course, this can be done without any weights if you would like as well. All right, we just wanna get that ball and socket all warmed up here. So you're just doing a nice big reverse circle. All right, and we're gonna switch directions here. Forward she goes. Nice big rounded circles. Whoo, that's already burning. Does not take much, does it? Just instantly on fire. Good, okay, just bring that one in and reverse circles on the other side here. Nice and slow, give a good rotation. Keep your knees soft and try not to um, swing your hips back and rotate your hips and torso. Try to keep them straight and just rotating the shoulder. All right, switch directions there. Up, that's it, good. So a full arm workout today. Lots of biceps, triceps, shoulders, of course. And uh, okay, let's do some palms up. Little rotator cuff right here, out to the side. So we'll be doing that. I'm gonna throw one minute of active rest in between every third exercise, or every fourth exercise, I guess it would be. After three, then we'll do a, a cardio component. So I like to keep the heart rate elevated as well throughout, and just feel like we're getting a really good workout. All right, bring your arms down, little shoulder roll right here. That's it, just roll those shoulders up, move close to the ears, and back, switch directions. Forward roll here, good. All right, with soft knees, you're gonna do alternating front raises right here. And we're just gonna go for eight. That's three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna take that to an upright row right here. So elbows high. Good, stick your chest out. Three, four, eight here. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, overhead, let's have a nice little shoulder press right there. And again, just eight. Don't want to fatigue anything too badly here. Four more. Just want to get things warmed up. Three, two, and one. Good, bring them down. Give me another shoulder roll. Elbows up, or shoulders up by your ears. All right, reverse directions here. Good. And let's go into a little reverse fly. Hinge forward at the waist. Round those arms and retract 
back. The shoulder blades right there. Squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. One more exercise just to stay, get those things warmed up there. And we're coming up for a lateral raise right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one right here. All right, that's it. Good. Set those weights down. Okay, make sure you have your water, BCAAs, towel handy. We are getting started right now. All right, we're starting with a basic military press. So just grab some weights that you can lift over your head for 45 seconds. All right, knees are soft, shoulders are back, stick your chest out, and here we go, right up. All right, so if at any time you need to take a break, <clears throat> set those weights down for a second, shake your arms out, feel free to do that, and then pick them back up as soon as you can, get back into it, all right? This doesn't have to be fast. In fact, better if it's not fast. Control the up and down. Good. And you're halfway through. Keep going. Stay nice and tall in that chest here. Good. Last 10 seconds. Woo! Burning overhead like that, aren't they? For me too. In three, two, and time. All right, good. Roll that back. We're going to stick with shoulders this circuit here. So knees are soft and we're doing an alternating front raise. If you're lifting really light and you want to do them both at the same time, that's an option too. Ready? Here we go. Up and alternating. So make sure you do palms down on this because we are going to be switching it later on in this workout. And we just want to focus on that medial delts here a little bit, that front anterior delts as well. So palms down, we'll do that for us here. Good, you're over halfway. Excellent. Knees stay soft and really try to keep your torso facing the front. All right, last 10 seconds. Shoulders back, stick your chest out. Three, two, and time. All right, moving to that upright row. Okay, again, we're gonna go both at the same time. If you need to single side it, it's a little bit easier, feel free to do that, okay? Otherwise, both at the same time in four, three, two, and here we go. All right, stick your chest out, up, and. This one's a really great one to watch yourself in a reflection or mirror. Uh, due to the fact that you want to make sure your elbows are higher than your wrists. A lot of people um, get sloppy on this one and mess it up, myself included. So I like to watch myself even in my uh, camera viewfinder, make sure my elbows are up high. And especially on the one side, I do have a bit of a shoulder issue so it can tend to anteriorly rotate that shoulder and cause that elbow to drop. Okay, we don't want that. You're almost there. In three, two, and time. All right, set that down, hitting a cardio. All right, good, we're gonna do climb the ladder, so it's like a high knees, running, reach your hands above your head. We're going in four, three, two, here we go, up. Modify this by just high knees, walk it out, and lift your arms up. Otherwise, you're running, let's go. Again, nice to put a little cardio in here, just to get that heart rate up. Of course, if you wanted to eliminate it and just focus on the muscles, you could feel free to do that as well. Ten more seconds here. Let's get those knees up higher. In three, two, time. All right, back to our shoulder press. I'm gonna stick with the eights here for myself. If you found that was too heavy, switch to fives or lower, or go heavier, it doesn't matter. Ready? Shoulder press, here we go. There we 
There we go. Looks good. Now, if you feel like your back is arching while you're pressing here, go ahead and take a step behind. Set one foot in front, one behind. That stabilizes you a little bit better. All right, you're halfway. Keep those knees soft. Good, 10 more seconds. In four, three, two, and time. Good, woo, that's a burner. All right, back to that alternating front raise. Palms down. Shoulders back. All right, get ready in three, two, Alternate right here and slow up to 90 degrees and control the down. Don't let it just drop down, okay? The more you can control it, the more you're gonna activate those muscles to help you. That's it. Up and. Good, you're halfway through this one. Keep it going. Always adjusting your posture, keeping those shoulders back. Last 10 seconds here now. In four, three, two, and time. All right, good. Moving to that upright row. Just set those weights down for a second if you need. You do have these 15 seconds in between. All right, going in three, Two, here we go. Elbows high. That's it. We're gonna do a double foot front and back jump for our cardio coming up. Okay, I'm just gonna switch it up for the cardio round. Just for fun. That's it. Halfway, keep those elbows up right here. We are looking to get a good arm pump today here. That is for sure. Good, 10 seconds left. Up. Stick your chest out, up and over the chest. In three, two, and one. All right, set those down. Double foot jump is just basic front and back right here. Okay, if you wanna modify and just do a modified skip right here, that's fine. Otherwise, we're jumping forward and back in three, two, here we go, front and back, right there, nice and quick. Use your arms in there if you want. And pick up your pace. Halfway through. Ten seconds. Okay, push hard. Come on, a little faster. In four. Come on. Three, two, and time. All right, good. One more round here. Starting with that shoulder press. Knees are soft. Shoulders back. Ready and press. If you know it's the last round on some of these, make sure you go as heavy as you can with good form, of course. Whew. Halfway through, we're burning. seconds. Ooh, ooh, that is on fire. In four, three, two, and one. Holy, good job. Okay, uh, front raise coming up. These are soft, shoulders back. Palms are down, remember. Alternating or together, and here you go. Up. 
My elbow is slightly bent here, right? Coming up right to 90 degrees, and then a slow descent here. All right, you're halfway, 20 seconds left here. Chest up and out. Upright row coming up. In four, three, two, and time. All right, little shoulder roll. Upright row for 45 seconds, then last cardio, then a little break and switching to biceps next. All right, shoulders back, upright row, get ready. Here we go. Up. Make sure you're not leaning forward on this. Stick your chest out, reset yourself each time. Up. That's it, you're over halfway now. Come on, keep going. Remember the end goal, sexy summer arms, right? <laughs> so we gotta keep pushing through, even though it's painful. Even though it burns, let's go. Up. There we go, good. Put those weights down. We're gonna go into a squat jack with a quarter turn. So you're gonna jack in front, jump front, quarter turn jack. Okay, modify this with just a jack, quarter turn, squat, sorry. Here we go. Quarter turn, front, side, good. Drop your glutes here. That's it. All right, the last 20 seconds. Keep pushing here, everyone. Woo! Burning, burning. There we go. Okay, quick water break, biceps coming up. All right, going into the biceps. Let's have a seat on the edge of a couch, chair, bench. We're moving into concentration curls, 45 seconds per side. So feel free to lift really heavy and go slow. Here we go. And curl up. So elbows on the inside of the knee. Knee and shoulder stay totally stationary. Your only joint that's moving is that elbow there. All right, if you feel like you're starting to rotate that shoulder forward and swing it back to get the weight up, go ahead and lighten the weight, it's too heavy. All right, you wanna keep everything nice and stationary and just that elbow joint. All right, so you're halfway there, ready? Squeeze that bicep at the top and up. Good. Mm. Last 10 seconds on the side. In three, two, and time. All right, stretch that back a little bit, thumb down, give a little stretch right to that bicep there. We're gonna move to hammer curls next, so move quickly to grab your second weight after the round right here. All right, here we go, and lift. Flex that bicep at the top, squeeze, that's it. Always love doing this one in the gym. Always made me feel kind of badass. Kind of like, actually we used to call these man curls. So, but believe me, you're seeing way more women doing these curls these days as well. So, no longer can we call them man curls. Oh, they're woman curls as well. In three, two, last one, good. All right, grab your other weight, move into some hammer curls. We're gonna stand up tall, palms face your leg this time. Knees are soft, shoulders back, get ready, and lift. 
You're gonna do a slight curl at the top, flexing the biceps right there, all right? And down. Now because of the nature of that first exercise, I'm gonna call this, there was one on one side, one on the other, this is three, and we're gonna do cardio right next. So basically just two different uh, uh, bicep exercises then into the cardio. Does that make any sense? Are you like, what are you talking about? You get it, right? Well, just look below. It's all written down below. You'll get it. <laughs> all right, keep straight and tall. You're almost there in four, three, two, and time. All right, set those down. Moving into a predator jack. So that was this wide jumping jack with a clap in the middle. Modify without the jump right there. Get ready in three, two, here we go, wide and together. That's it. Good job. As soon as you're done here, grab your weight, sit down again for the concentration curls. Halfway. Good job, 15 seconds. Keep dropping that butt, low. That's it, in four, three, two, and time. Good, all right, concentration. A seat, get yourself into position. All right, in three, two, and curl up, and low. That's it. Flex that bicep at the top, keep your palm face the ceiling. Again, don't go super fast. Slow and controlled is a better way Getting heavy for me, 10 seconds left. In four, three, two, and time. All right, good. Stretch that back a little. Swing it around, whatever you need to do. Whew. All right, get ready in three, two, and curl right there. up. Nice flex at the top. Halfway. Concentrate on that nice slow rhythmic motion here and not rocking your shoulder back, okay? Keep this stationary, keep it still. Use the bicep to get that weight up. Not the knee, not the shoulder. All right, that's it. Good, camera curls coming up. Grab both. All right, stand tall, knees soft. In three, two, and here we go. Up at the same time and down. I'll be grateful for the cardio in between and let those biceps rest. These 15s are getting heavy for sure. Uh, let's go. Keep your back flat. Good. All right, you got 10 more seconds left. Moving into an ice skater with a giant hop as your cardio. And time. Okay, moving to that ice skater with the giant hop, modify here. Okay, with the step, high knee, step, high knee, otherwise you're jumping it out quite aggressively, I might add. Here we go. Up and high. 
Let's go. Stay low on that jump across and then get up high. You want to keep the heart rate up here, so make sure that you're explosive. Halfway. Use your arms. Up. Good, almost there, in four, three, two, time. Okay, repeat one more time. <clears throat> Concentration curls. Get ready. In three, two, here we go, up. Really focus on the lift now. Pull up hard. And a slow descent. Halfway. Good, almost there. Eight more seconds. In four. Three, two, up. Good, whew, starting to get fatigued a little bit. Let's switch it up. Last concentration curl on this side. In four, three, two, and curl. Here we go. So if you did this program at least twice a week, so when you want to shift and change a body part, you've got to put a lot of time and attention on that. You could even do this with a day in between three times a week. If, if that's what you really wanted is to sculpt your arms, you could do this Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do legs uh, and other body parts on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, do some hit cardio on the weekends, and you would have some sculpted arms by summertime. Boom, just like that. Okay, let's pick those up. But of course, as I've said many times, you cannot out train a bad diet. So, honestly, knees soft, shoulders back, ready? And here we go. If you want to see the sculpting in the arms, you have to have uh, a, a lot of attention paid to your nutrition, right? You can't uh, eat sugary things and fatty things and, and exercise really hard and expect to see the, the results that you want. You've gotta pay attention to the nutrition. Give yourself some treat time so it's not super um, restrictive because that doesn't last or work either. But then, uh, you know, again, paying attention to nutrition has got to be paramount or else you'll just gain a lot of muscle and have a lot of fat lying over top of the muscle. All right, in three, two, and time. Move into some cardio kicks. For our cardio, modify right here. Tapping all alternating heel, otherwise you're running it out. In three, two, and here we go. Up. All right, moving to triceps coming up. That's it, get those feet up. Knees are high, like a high knee move. 20 seconds left. In five, four, three, two, time. Okay. Water if you need, and then triceps. All right, everyone move down to the floor. You're gonna do a plank position, reverse fly tricep kickback. We're gonna do 22 seconds per side. So get in that plank position, get ready, round the arm, 
Here we go, you're curling out, kicking back. Okay, then switch. Fly out, bend, kick back. All right, repeat and kick. So a little tricep, a little rear delt on this. Of course, a little core, holding yourself up in that plank position. And kick. Up and kick. We're gonna stay down here for all of our tricep exercises as well as the cardio. Up and kick. Good, 10 more seconds. All right, good. Let's flip it over, grab your other weight. You're gonna be on your back for the triceps. We're gonna do some overhead extensions. So lying down, <clears throat> straight arms, bend at the elbow and press. Here we go. And up. That's it. Now you don't want your shoulder moving at all here. So just keep that nice and still, just bend at the elbow. Make sure you're watching your head. That's it. So a little break, then we're moving right into that Tate press, which is also gonna be on your back. Okay. Good. So two back-to-back -back line triceps should really fatigue those triceps. See a lot of reps. All right, so make sure that you're lifting in a good rep range for yourself. Okay, take press, palms face away. You're coming down to the chest, pressing up. Elbows come wide. Get ready in three, two, here we go. Elbows wide, press. Keep those dumbbells over the chest, not the neck, not the face. So a little lower down. Give me a good flex at the top. <clears throat> okay, just because of the nature of the amount of rest that we had, already my triceps are on fire with this one. Whew. I'm not sure if I'll be grateful for the mountain climbers that are coming up next or not, but that's what's coming up. Press. That's it. Good. Only five seconds left. Get ready in three, two, and there's your time. Okay, flip it over. Mountain climbers. <clears throat> of course, you could tap this in to modify, otherwise we're running out and it's 45 seconds. That's a long time to climb the mountain, but we're doing it. Ready? And here we go. Bum is down. Bring those knees in. That's it. Just a little jog right here. This is a lot of work for the arms and shoulders as well, just holding one's body weight up here. Almost there, last eight seconds. Keep going, and time. All right, excellent. Moving back to your back. Oh, sorry, plank position, don't go to your back. We're starting at the beginning. We got that reverse fly with the tricep kickback. Ready, and here we go. Up, in, back, switch. Good, you're concentrating here on keeping your hips facing the ground, not lifting up one hip, okay? Both face the ground, rounded fly, and a kick back. That's it, 10 seconds now. All right, excellent. I'm using an eight on all of this, this whole sequence here, just for reference. I definitely feel it already in the tries. All right, on your back, overhead extension. Get ready, let's go. 
Bend at the elbow only. so you can really feel those triceps activate and recruit to prevent that dumbbell from falling. That eccentric phase is really important to focus on as well. Not just the press up all the time, but that slow concentration down. Oh, it's hard. All right, rest for a second. I'm gonna put those down, give my wrists a roll. Our cardio is going to be different. We're going to do some donkey kicks coming up, okay? All right, take press on your back again. Ready? And to the chest and press. Wide elbows and press. Yeah, this one with that other one super set just makes my triceps burn. All right, moving into some donkey kicks coming up. So you're gonna be in that plank position, kicking those feet up to the ceiling. All right. And last one here. There's your time, good. Okay, flip it over. I'm actually going to use these dumbbells to support my wrists. I find that a little bit more comfortable on them. Okay, you're kicking up towards the ceiling. Otherwise, you can step it up like that to modify. Here we go. switching it to some partial burpees as our cardio, okay? Just to finish off this tricep round. 
All right, take presses. Get those arms up. Give me a nice wide elbow. Here we go. And up. Up. Just out, wait, 
<laughs> I had a trouble with this before. Up and modify there. Jump, knee. No, that's not. Okay, ready and up. Knee. Let's so get those arms up as well. Jack, high knee. Jack, high knee. That's it. Ten seconds left. In three, two, and time. Okay, good. Back to that full front. Knees are soft, remember, shoulders back. We're all the way up to the ceiling, all the way down to the legs. In four, three, two, here we go. Up, slow, 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 up. Excellent job. Stick your chest out at the bottom. Up, oh yeah. This can also be doing single side if you just have a one weight and it's too heavy for you, of course. I like this full range, just getting up and over that sticking point, that's hard. Normally we come to 90 degrees on this, so coming all the way to the ceiling is a really good change. Don't swing at the bottom, four, three, hold it, two, one. All right, let's sit down for that reverse fly. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you what it looks like if you um, are standing, you're just right here with that reverse fly, okay? All right, in three, two, here we go, and up. I like to bring the dumbbells behind my knees, together, keeping that rounded arm, and then pulling up and back. Really putting my mind in that rear delt that back shoulder muscle, thinking about that muscle pulling the weight up, okay? That mind muscle connection here is really, really important. Good, you only have 10 seconds left. Oh, try to keep your chest on the ground or on your, on your legs. All right, good. Moving to that full, Lateral raise. Okay, soft knees, palms face away from you. Shoulders back, chest up and out. Here we go. Up and slow. Two, three, up. Good. Definitely work for those shoulders. Holy Hannah. Good. Halfway. The slower you go, the harder it is. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, back to our cardio. Good, we're gonna do a split split squat for cardio. Really get that heart rate up. You could do reverse lunge, reverse lunge squat. That's your modification. Otherwise, we're jumping it out in three, two, here we go. Split split squat. You could do a jumping lunge, jumping lunge squat if you really wanna kick it up. Okay, like here, here, here. I'm gonna opt for the split today. Good, you're halfway. Last 10 seconds. All right, one more round. 
Grab your weights again, starting with that full front raise. Get ready in four, three, two, and up. Stick your chest out, control and slow on this. Woo, that burns. 20 seconds, halfway through. That's it, last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, reverse flies. Have a seat. All right, let's bend at the waist. Get right under those legs here in three, two, and start. Good, you're almost halfway there. Nice neutral neck on this, remember. You don't want to be looking up and pinching that neck. Keep it aligned with your spine. All right, last 10 seconds. In four, three, two, and time. Good. All right, last. Lateral raise, palms face away, full range of motion. Whew. Knees are soft, tummy tight, ready, and here we go. Up, slow, 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 up, up, and keep it controlled. Halfway through. Woo -hoo. Last ten seconds. Control and done. All right, back to that cardio. Let's do some frog squats this time. You're gonna to touch the ground, do a little oblique turn. You can modify without the jump right here. Otherwise, we're jumping. Ready, here we go. Touch the ground, turn it up. If that hurts your back, just touch the ground, stay right here, okay? Or your shoulder. Sometimes we have injuries, we gotta work around them, right? Modify as we go, do what works for you. Not what hurts you. Okay, there's a point at pushing through something that's painful, but also you've got to be mindful of your body when it's injuring and not making it better, not challenging. Okay, big difference. You've got to really listen to yourself on that one. Almost there. In four, three, two, and one. Okay. Next circuit, we're doing a lot of pulsing. Okay, we're doing a shoulder, a bicep, a tricep. So grab a drink, come right back. All right, we're starting with shoulders. So if you're gonna do an Arnold curl, Arnold press rather, Arnold press right here and here. Once we're halfway, we're gonna pulse it right up to the top. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Ready, here we go. So a full press right here, elbows stay high, chest height here, squeeze together, all right. At the 22 second mark, we're doing a little pulse. We're gonna try and burn those shoulders out a little bit with an isometric contraction. So basically, we're gonna hold it for 20 seconds. It's gonna burn, it's gonna be silly crazy. All right, right here, pulse right here. All right, just little guys. Just little ones right there. Oh my, I'm gonna come closer so you can see the pain on my face. It's gonna be equal to the pain on your face. I don't like it. 
It hurts, it's only five seconds left though. Come on, keep going. Three, two, oh gosh, brutal. Okay, same with our biceps. Full range of motion bicep curl. Then we're gonna pulse it half, halfway through. Shoulders back, ready in three, two, here we go all the way up and down. Palms are up, excellent. And of course we're gonna do the same thing with the triceps. And all the muscle groups in our arms will be happy. <laughs> right, right, all right, here comes your pulse. Hold it right here, little ones right here. Okay, keep your shoulders back. Now don't fall forward. Don't let the weight pull your shoulders forward. Good, you only have 15 seconds left. That's it, keep your elbows tucked in. A little pulse, come on, up. You're almost there. Last five seconds. In three, two, and time. Oh, stretch that out for a second. Triceps, we're gonna do tricep kickbacks right here, hinging forward at the waist. I'm gonna just rest my arms for a second. All right, get into position. Full kick back, then a pulse. Here we go. Kick, and that's it. Don't move the shoulders on this. They stay stationary, elbow stays high. Okay. All right, one more. Here comes your pulse. Up. Up, up, that's it, little pulse. Oh, this is killer. Why did I use such heavy weights? Oh, if you're losing your form, fall out, and then get back in when you can. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh, set those down, brutal. Let's go for a little cardio here. Okay, one, two, three, hop, side to side, get ready. Oh, arms are on fire. In three, two, and here we go. One, two, three, that's it. Keep it low, working legs a little bit to give our arms a break. Which one was the hardest for you? I think shoulder for me, probably. Just getting those arms above the head is work. Good, halfway here. Pick up your pace, come on. Ba, 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 ba. Let's go, last 10 seconds. In four, three, two, and time. Okay, back to the shoulders. Arnold press with the pulse. Ready, here we go, and up. Keep those elbows up. All right, here comes your pulse right here. Go to your happy place, people. Literally. It's all we can do at this point. 10 seconds. Push, come on. Oh, four, three, two, oh! I hate that. That was hard. What is crinkling here? Okay, it's fine. Biceps. Shoulders back, palms up, ready. And full palm up curl, full range of motion to start with. That's it. Stick your chest out. All right, here comes your pulse, ready and here. That's it. Little ones, just little guys right there. It can barely be a movement. It's just holding that contraction at 90 degrees, putting tension on that bar. 
Good, last six seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Let's stretch for a second. Triceps coming back, coming up, brother. Whew. All right, grab it for the kickbacks in three, two, and kick up. Good. Seal jacks coming up for our cardio. Nice little pause at the top here. Focusing on triceps, put your mind in that muscle. All right, can you pulse it out here now? Here we go. Little ones, little ones. Rear delts might feel this a bit too. Quite a bit, in fact. 10 seconds. Almost there, come on, push, push. Almost there, ah, that's it. Good, seal jack. Okay, modify that here. Otherwise, we'll jack it out. It'll feel nice to swing our arms, actually. Ready in three, two, here we go. for me for sure. I should go heavier. Oh, don't tell anyone I said that. Ready? Here we go. Palms up and down. That's it. Stick your chest out. All the way, full range of motion, no swinging at the bottom. All right, here's your pulse. Up, up. There we go. Good, 15 seconds. Little ones, come on, almost there. In five, four, three, two, time. Good, okay, last tricep. Get our kickbacks ready. And then one more cardio, then we're stretching. Okay, in four, three, two, and kick. Here we go. Good, flex right there. Good flex, little pause. Up, okay, ready to kick it back? Here we go, up, kick. Oh, I feel this in my 
Rear delts more than anything. Holy, that's hard. Okay, almost there. In three, two, one. Okay, set those weights down. Good job, last cardio. Let's go with some bottom burpees, okay? You can modify this with a regular burpee walkout. You can walk the burpee over right here, whatever you like. Bottom burpees, plank on the ground, come to half, pop it up. Let's go. Low pop. As soon as those feet come in, you stand up or crouch down there. Almost there. Last 15 seconds, everyone. Then this workout is done. Push hard. Go, go, go. Stop. Go, 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 stop. Like the game we used to play as kids. Okay, let's stretch our arms out. Great job, everyone. All right, let's bring that one arm across here. Hold that shoulder a little bit and stretch that out right there. Okay, that's good. That's, um, again, one way to really target biceps, triceps, shoulders, rear delts that are really going to help you sculpt that arm how you wanna see it uh, when it's tank top season, which incidentally, wherever you live, it might be right now. So, you know, I think it's a good way to uh, uh, good exercises to incorporate into your weekly routine is to make sure that you're working those arms at a high intensity or high rep range or a lot of volume, okay? All right, let's bring the hands behind the back, stretch the chest, and let's gently tilt the neck to one side here. Hey, do you like my new tank top? Move daily. Did you see that? My son, I'm like, hey, honey, look at my new tops. What do you think it says? And he's like, Mavi, I'm like, no, not Mavi. Let's try though, Des. He's being silly. He's like, cool, is it a guy's tank top? I'm like, no, all for girls. He's like, ah, darn, I would wear it. I'm like, honey, you're so cute. Thanks for supporting mom. Um, okay, tricep stretch up and over. Anyway, I am gonna be selling these. So if you're interested in one, I don't know what the shipping is to the United States and seeing as most of my viewers are down in the States, I'll have to find that out first, but let me know in the comments below if you would like to order a tank top. We also have hats coming out as well. I'll show you in just a second the same move as well. So yeah, again, a good reminder for ourselves that moving daily is actually really incredibly beneficial for us. Exercising regularly is, uh, is a way to increase so many things in our life longevity being the, the greatest of those things. Arms back, thumbs down. So anyway, I thought I'd make some tops. So I did it. I thought about it and then I did it. That's just how it works. Same with exercises. Think about it, do it, and then you have some sexy summer arms. Well, I hope you do this workout regularly, getting ready for summertime wherever it is you live in this world. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, nutrition, and hey, wait, here's the hats. Okay, here's the whole ensemble. See, I'm gonna come, I'm coming in, I'm coming in for landing. Do you see that it says move? Can you see the shiny thread? It says move, do you see that? I hope you see it. See, so when you're outside and you're run, running along, doing your thing, you're like, hey, I move daily. Don't worry about it, it's just my thing, it's just what I do, I move. All right, well, if you're interested in any of these items, any of this swag, so you can look so swag in your move attire, then make sure that you let me know in the comments below or direct message me as well. Hey, also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook because we have a community over there and we'd love to chat with you and see how you're doing in your fitness endeavors. All right, all right, go. Move daily.